Well, joining me here at St. John's Methodist Church in Conwy is the minister, Janet Hart. Janet, Thank you. Hey. this looks like a wonderful, buzzy <laughs> atmosphere you've got here. It's amazing how it's taken off. We've done three. This is the third one, and it's a Christmas lunch this evening. Um, and we get about 35, 40 folk from the local community okay. um, just for a warm space um, and a meal, a hot meal at six o'clock. Um, and you can see there's a lot more arrived uh, in the last half hour while we've been chatting around and setting yeah. up. It's, it's incredible how it's it's so it's, a, off. it's a warm space and yes. they get a meal. They get a hot meal. Um, there's, there's a chap called Dave downstairs below where we're standing in the kitchen beavering away and he's producing amazing amounts of hot food. Um, he's been here since I think about four o'clock or so today. Wow. Um, and there's very little left. They book in and he's done sausage casserole, beef stroganoff, spaghetti, all sorts. It's incredible. And have you noticed, um, are more people wanting to come to this kind of gathering? Um, yeah, I mean, the vast majority of these are not connected with church. Yeah. It, it's community, which is what church should be, isn't it? Serving Absolutely. the community. And it feels like it struck a nerve. Um, with the local folks, it's something that we've been thinking as a church, what can we do, knowing it was ahead of us. Um, and we've had a lot of ongoing conversations. Um, and then it was a random conversation with one of our members who went back home to her husband. And he said, well, I think I could cook. I'm an ex-chef. I'll cook once a fortnight. And he's the guy downstairs, Dave. Um, and so he's networked with the local butchers yeah. and the local fruit and veg. And they're donating all the food. Mm. And we open the space and serve. It's spray. really important, is it? Because it shows that we can do something about the problems that we're facing. We're not powerless, are we? No. And, and it's such a simple thing because about half past three all we had was tables up and chairs and a lady with old Christmas cards beginning to make Christmas decorations board games coloring homework table if you want the toilets around the corner you know and people are coming in it's been really chilly rain yeah. coming in and they're just so pleased to be able to sit and and have have a cup of tea and have a chat and the kids but are not happy. just a chat they're, they're, there's some board games down here You've oh yes, got a, a whole yes. range of things we were playing place. snap and connect before and there's one called chairs where you have to balance them it gets very competitive very competitive but if there are studious children we we would offer a homework table so that they could actually do something there so when they go home they can literally just go to bed they don't have to heat the room and then worry about homework after so so yeah. if anyone's watching this now and wants to help how can they help um, best way look on Facebook okay. um, Gareth and Catherine have the St John's Methodist Facebook page and uh, there's all the details on there and uh, they could message Gareth and Catherine and our lay workers and uh, that will do the rest, really. Wonderful. So, yeah, it's, great it's great to be here. Thanks it is, for your welcome. Lovely. Thank you very well much for done. coming. It's great. Well done for doing something really positive. Yeah, it's great thank to you. see. Thank you. Yeah, it's good to be here.